Hi beauties, I'm excited because I have my BoxyCharm today. BoxyCharm is one of my favorite subscription boxes to unbox on the channel. Uh, I've been really satisfied with this year's. Uh, I know we're coming to the end of 2020 and I think there's only been like one or two boxes I really wasn't impressed with. And overall, I think it's been a really strong year for them. So I'm excited. I will say I did not customize anything this month because they never email me. So for November's box on the 12th, which is when customization opens, I actually set a reminder on my phone and I went and did it. And I will say we've got another exciting video coming later on, um, probably within the next few days, whenever this box arrives, because I actually shopped their add-on sale. And let me tell you, it is a thousand times better than Ipsy's. And I like Ipsy's add-on sale, but I got, I was, I got like some Becca foundations for $6. I got some serums for like six or $12. I, crazy, I can't wait to show you guys. I was happy with that, but I didn't choose a customization option for this month because it came and went and I was like, wait a minute. It was like the 24th and I was like, of September. And I was like, I never got it and emailed, oh no. So I don't know what to expect. I don't, I don't even know if I remember what the theme is this month. So I'm just gonna jump into the box. It's pretty big, pretty big this month. So I have high hopes, but I, your guess is as good as mine. Let's do this. Oh, that's right. Okay. It's like, it's the candy shop and it's kind of a cool image. It's like this bloody hand and candy. I don't, I guess it's for Halloween. Yeah. I mean, well, obvi obviously it's obviously it's for Halloween, but I guess the candy is like, cause candy is associated with Halloween and they're just like, let's just make it like go, go, go candy, but make it gore. And I was like, okay. Oh, and they have the list of all the products with the prices too. Yes. Love that. Okay. Love the first, love the first product. This is the Ciate London, the editor palette. I, I did not know about this, but I love Ciate London and it looks like a giant palette. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm really jazzed. Okay. I love it. Wow. Look at those beautiful colors. That's really, really fall colors. I will say one thing about this palette that I'm not like super jazzed about is like most of the shades are glitter. You guys know I prefer palettes that are majority matte. Doesn't, I don't care. These are gorgeous shades. I love this. Um, I definitely, I, I will definitely do a look with this, but it will be a little bit challenging. It'll be kind of like when I did the look with the uh, stone palette from Urban Decay there. There was a lot of glitter pigments and I was like, what can I do with this? But I love it. It's a lot, you get a lot with it too. Yeah. 18 shades, really pretty. I, and I love Ciate London. I can't express how much I love Ciate London. So that's a great product. I'm, I was not expecting it and I'm very excited about it. Has this, this has not always been in there, right? Why would they do this? Is this like some sort of a Halloween joke? This is, I hate, I hate this. It's like shredder paper it's just everywhere. It's, it's snowing. Okay, sorry. Next thing I have, I'm pretty sure there's either an animal or a demon living in our attic space. Either we're listening to the demon summoning us or we're listening to an animal scurrying around right now. It's very unsettling though. Nikki is, I'm pretty sure like having a major panic attack. <laughs> Nikki's eyes are like, he's like, should we call the police? I don't know what to do. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Let's, let's muscle through, it's fine. We'll just, he hasn't heard us yet. So here we are. This is the Symbiosis London HA2 and uh, Polinin. I think that's how I say that. It's a hyaluronic acid pulling in tightening and replenishment eye mask. Oh, okay. So they're calling it an eye mask. It's an eye cream. You don't wash it off or anything like that. And um, I'm, I'm really looking for good eye creams right now. So I'm actually really, really excited about this one. And I love pretty much anything that has hyaluronic acid in it. So that seems like a pretty good product. And my guess is knowing skincare prices, that's probably a pretty hefty price tag on that one too. So cool, I'm into it. <gasps> oh, I got another palette. Wow, I'm excited. Oh wow, this one's taped. I don't like that. Got it. This is from Real Her, which I actually have started using more of recently because of Ipsy. So I'm pretty excited about this. This is the Re Real Her Ultimate Glow Getter cheek trio oh yes i love it yeah really beautiful like a nice light uh pinky peachy more of a peachy than a pinky like a really neutral peach uh cheek shade i mean blush shade i can think of words a highlighter and then a really nice bronzer which i'll use as probably as the contour because you guys know me but and i love like the fake marble effect i love it i'm this is a good box so far. I'm with the three products I've gotten already. I'm like, I'm mad into it. I definitely got my money's worth. Oh my God, it's giant really it was that big. So this is the Tarte Marcuja Miracle Mist Setting Spray. And it's like, it's a huge bottle. I mean, I, I'm i always up for a setting spray, a good one. And I love Tarte, so I'm into it. And I've never tried this one before. Um, but that's like a really, it almost, I thought it was a hair product at first, so cool. And then the final thing that we have here, 
I'm not gonna lie, I, I've gotten so many of these that it's kind of like meh about getting them. I know I've gotten one in Boxy before. I've gotten, I think, two in um, Bad Fit Funds. But this is the Spongella Body Wash Infused Buffer. And I only say I'm not into it just because it's, I, and I'm not, it's, I don't, that's misleading. I do like them a lot. They're very great products. I just have like a stockpile of like four or five of them right now from sub boxes. So I don't really need it, but it's still a great product. Yeah, it's a little, basically if you guys don't know what this is, it's like a little loofah that already has like soap and stuff infused in it. So you just wet it in the shower and then you use it. They work great. I really do like them. Um, it just, I have a lot. That's the only, that's the only reason I was kind of like meh about it. But doesn't matter, this box is well worth my money. So uh, yes, hell yes. This is a great month for Boxy. And I'm not gonna lie, I've, have, I've heard a couple people say that they haven't been like super thrilled with Boxy lately. I had one Boxy Lux this year. I, I'm trying to remember what what time frame it was. I'm thinking maybe it was the spring or the, the spring box is what I would guess it would be that I just was not into at all. I thought they did a terrible job with that. And I was very honest about it. But overall, I've been very happy with this year. Like, I'm, in, I'm into it, I love this box. Okay, and just so you guys know pricing wise before we jump into that, this box by itself is $25. Um, that does include shipping. We have done a year subscription, which I believe gives us one month free. So it winds up being a little less than $25, like $22 or something a box. And they say that it's at least $125 in value. So we're gonna run down the price list and we're gonna see how much the retail value is. Okay, first thing we got, Ciate London Editor Palette, $32. That's actually a good price for a palette. I'm not gonna lie, that's like, I would pay that. I mean, I always try and get it on sale, but I would, that's 32 bucks isn't bad for that. Okay, cool. Tarte Marcuja Oil Miracle Mist Spray, $23. The Real Her Glow Trio is $28. The Symbiosis, L I don't know why I'm surprised by skincare prices anymore, but I still am. $93, uh, yeah, yeah, Nikki, I know. I would never pay that, but I'm happy I got it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not looking a gift horse in the mouth. And then the Spongella is $20, which gives us a retail value of $196. Although 93, I would I just have trouble with that. I just, I think I'm gonna be honest, now that I'm really doing skincare really regularly, very much because I'm not wearing makeup that often. Um, so now that I'm really thinking about skincare more often, I will say having the subscription box services for the purpose of getting skincare, even the shopping the add-ons and getting the skincare at the discounted rates that they sell them for, it kind of makes it worth it. I was, I didn't appreciate it a while ago. Um, and my mom, of course, being my mom was like, well, you are getting close to 30. So now's probably a good time to do that. And I was like, thanks mom. <laughs> Thanks, ma'am. But yeah, so great box. I'm very, I'm very happy with it. I, once again, this is a, this is the second box in a row. Last was a, a luck, so it was a little bit more products. But I feel like I could do almost a full look with this and be very, very satisfied. So I am, yeah, I'm happy with it. I'm very into Boxy Charm right now, which is good because there was a while there where they had gone from being my favorite to kind of letting me down a little bit. So I'm, I'm happy. I really love it. So yeah, if you like the video, oh wait, well first. I wanna know what you guys got in your boxy charms. So definitely in the comments, let me know what you guys got, how you feel like boxy charms going, how you feel like it's going in comparison to Ipsy. I know some people are not happy with it and I totally understand. There are some times that you, other people may get stuff you like or they it may just not be targeted towards you. So, so yeah, let me know what you got. And let me know if you like it. Uh, if you like the video, thumbs up. It helps us a ton. If you like us, subscribe, because we are really, really close to Halloween. I think when this wood winds up dropping, we'll be like within like the next like five or six days, we'll be starting to post the Halloween videos. Basically I'm taking seven days before Halloween and we're doing a Halloween look each day. And I'm telling a really fun story that I've recent, well fun, fun's a loose term. Nikki is really freaking out about that. I mean, it's unsettling, but Nikki's like, I'm, his eyes are so big right now. But we're telling some sort of a Halloween related story. It is all, well, everything's history, but it is normally history related because that's what I specialize in. So I've been researching a lot of different fun things to talk about, so subscribe. Okay, other than that, I hope you guys are all safe, healthy, you have a wonderful day and you stay girly with a dark twist.